there's one small cap tech stock you haven't heard about, it's probably this one. They're using blue lasers, not infrared, and they're pivoting straight into defense and space. The company's called Nibiru. Before we dive in after this video, go join the trading discord. There's over 25,000 traders in there. It is the perfect place to talk market and strategy. The link is in my bio. If it doesn't work, just DM me. As a full disclosure, I do own 200 shares of this company after doing this review because the price seemed very cheap to me. I am not recommending this stock. This video is purely for educational purposes and is not financial advice. The Buru Inc, ticker B-U-R-U, was founded in 2015 in Centennial, Colorado. Their specialty is high power, high brightness blue laser systems. These lasers use light around 450 nanometers and metals like copper, gold, and aluminum absorb that blue light 10 to 20 times more efficiently than infrared lasers use today. That means faster welds, stronger joints, less spatter, and lower energy use. In plain English, blue lasers can weld and 3D print metals that traditional lasers struggle with. Nibiru's AO and BL series lasers are built on modular gallium nitrate diodes. And they've already hit the kilowatt level mark with their BL1KW model. They hold over 220 patents on blue laser tech, welding, and 3D printing, which is a serious intellectual property mode for them. These systems are already being tested for EV battery manufacturing, welding copper foils at up to eight times the speed of traditional lasers, consumer electronics where smaller, cleaner welds are key, 3D printing where they partner with GE Additive and the US Air Force, and even NASA, which just gave them nearly one million in contracts to beam power across the moon to Mars. 2024 was not easy for this company. Revenue dropped from 2 million to just 150,000. Losses hit 34 million. With only $200,000 cash in hand by year end, they had to reinvent themselves fast. So in 2025, Buru announced a strategic transformation from a pure play laser manufacturer into a defense and operational resilience company. They started acquiring Techni, an Italian defense electronics and armored vehicle manufacturer with a 309 million euro backlog. Orbital S SRL is a resilient software company for cyber physical incident management, and they've even launched Nibiru Defense LLC to unify their defense tech and software under a single roof. To make this pivot happen, they raised $12 million in a public offering this fall, $100 million in standby equity lines, and a $65 million facility loan from Laquius LP. They also installed a dual CEO structure. Alessandro Zamboni leads the mergers and acquisition strategy, and Dario Bassanari focusing on defense operations. The Buru is up against giants like Coherent IPG Photonics and Trump F. Companies with decades of experience and billions in sales. Nibiru's financials are still rough. They have negative cash flow and heavy dilution risks. But the potential upside is if they can integrate defense, software, and the proprietary laser IP, they could build a one-of-a-kind defense resilience platform spanning hardware, software, and advanced optics. In short, Nibiru is one of the most ambitious microcap pivots I've seen this year. This is a very risky play. There is no question about that, but it's also one of the few companies combining photonics defense and AI resilient infrastructure into a single ecosystem. If they pull this off, a little blue laser company could become a major defense tech player in the next decade. Before you go, hit like, follow, and share if you want daily financial content like this in your feed every single day. Remember, this is not financial advice. Always do your own research before investing.